Oh, hello, it's Heather. Today I'm gonna to be answering one of the most common questions that I receive, which is people wanna know if you create something in Adobe Arrow, can other people view the augmented reality without downloading a whole app? And previously the answer was, it's complicated. But now the answer is yes. So let's dig it. I actually found this out by accident. Uh, I was testing an experience that I created for a client over the holidays and uh, happened to be with my partner. So I asked if I could use their Android phone to test it out. And I was blown away when it just worked. There was like no additional download. It worked seamlessly um, as though the AR was native. So I investigated a little bit and I found out that very quietly, Adobe Aero has included the ability to open AR natively on both iOS and Android. So the way it works is pretty simple. First, you need to actually share your experience in Adobe Aero. So go up to the little button that says share, click create link, that's gonna create a URL and a QR code for you. Now, when you give that URL or QR code to anybody else, they can simply open it on their phone. It's going to launch a mini thumbnail version of the experience with the title and et cetera. And, uh, and then it just launches it and it runs it natively. It's a huge deal. It means that people can access your AR more easily, less friction, but the weird thing, Nobody's really talking about it. In fact, I couldn't really find like an official um, announcement of this or anything. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. So I'm interrupting from the future. I've actually done some research since the making of this video, and um, I have some theories on this radio silence. So before I dig into that, let's first talk about um, what's actually happening behind the scenes. So in iOS, they use something called app clips, but the equivalent is called instant apps in the Android universe. And essentially what it is, it's a mini application. It lets you run the functionality of a particular application without actually downloading the whole application. You're just running a miniature version of it. And the reason for the silence, I believe, is because it doesn't work. It rarely works. And I think people know it, and I have a theory that um, it might actually be depreciated behind the scenes. So time will tell. Based on my testing, this is what I can tell so far. If you have iOS, app clips will probably work. It does function a little bit differently on older devices than the newer devices, but it does seem to function. If you're offered an opportunity to view either on a browser or on the app, select app. That is going to open it in the app clip version. Now, if you're on Android, I believe that only the newest models may support this. And even then, it seems to be a little bit patchy. If you open it up and it offers you the opportunity to view in browser or app, again, choose app. This is going to load it into instant apps and should play for you. Now, I don't have 200 Android devices to uh, test this with. Um, maybe you do. Uh, if you do test this and you find that it works or it doesn't, I would be interested to know that information. So feel free to post below uh, with the type of phone that you have and your results. This could be a really wonderful thing for creators and users. Um, the truth is, is we're just not quite there yet. So despite the fact that at the beginning of this video, I promised a firm yes to the answer of this question, can you view Adobe Aero AR without downloading an additional app? I think the answer has to be, it's complicated. It's still complicated. With that, um, <laughs> if you have liked this video, if it's been useful for you, if you're exploring these XR tools like I am as they evolve and we evolve with them, feel free to like and subscribe and even hit that little bell if you'd like to hear from me. And uh, yeah, until next time, happy making.